Robert, we're here in Atlanta. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, five and a half years ago, I got out of prison with no funds, no help from the state, and $35 in my pocket. I haven't been able to receive home uh, housing. I'm on a list, but I haven't received it yet. It took me almost five years to get approved for my Social Security. And it's still, I haven't received it yet. And it's taken another, what, 13 months. And they finally said I should get it next month. I went to prison because I was selling drugs. And some guys tried to rob me in Savannah, Georgia. And they shot me in the shoulder. And I shot this guy in the thigh, but I hit his artery and he bled out. If anything I could put out there with this testimony is that you reap what you sow. I can't blame nobody but myself for the situation I'm in, but I'm doing all I can to rectify it. I don't do drugs anymore. I don't sell drugs anymore. I take the money that I do get, the odd jobs that I do get, and try to dress myself properly, try to keep my appearance up and try to help other people when I can. That's all that I could elaborate on. But one other thing I want to say, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Well, you were inside for a long time. 22 years. And, you know, you, you did the time that society, Yes. and now you're out. And you're homeless. Yes. And you're 67. Yes. So when we first started talking, you said because your age, nobody's going to hire you. And ageism is real. Right. And being homeless on top of that and right. having no record. A, a criminal record. Yes. So it's someone like you that we need to provide housing for because you're, you're not going to. Even, you want to work, but yeah. you can't find work. Can't find work. I had a job for about an hour. I got hired at a uh, Waffle House. But when the upper management did the background check and found out my record, I never, I never got, you know, I never went in. Yeah. They, you know, they nicked it in the bud. So <laughs> it's a hard road, but I have to bear it. But it's not as bad as it might seem. I do. I have a tent that I sleep in. I don't sleep out here on the street. I well, you were inside for 22 years, so this is better than prison. Oh, yeah, 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 that's <laughs> you know. what I'm saying, you know. Right, but it's still, you. nobody should be outside. No, no. no. And, you know, um, so you've been sleeping outside for 55, uh, for five years. Primarily, yeah. Like I said, I have a tent now. Right. But for the first three and a half years, I, I was sleeping out here on the side. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, now, how do you survive? I walked up here flying a sign. Sign, yes. It's something that I'm supposed to be doing, but I do. Uh, people, some people have the heart. They, it ain't about the money. I be wanting to have something to eat a lot of time. Right. But the money helps. I do a little odd job. This, you know, in the summertime, I cut grass, help people move, stuff like that. That yeah. when I can get on. But like I said, a lot of people don't want to hire me because of my age. Yeah. And, you know, they say, well, you're a liability, even cutting grass, you yeah. know. But I have one guy, he kind of steady, you know. He'll, when he get jobs, he'll come and get me, he'll come and find me. Well, he know where I'm here. And he kind of like, he's an old elderly guy, and it's like a hobby to him, really. So it's not no everyday work or no every week work. Sometimes it'd be two or three weeks before I see him. Um, most people that are panhandling or flying a sign, the money they get, I mean, research says the money they get goes to food. Right. And it's not a whole lot. Right. But these people walking by you, right? I mean, it's yes. degrading, begging for money. It's yes. not, it's, but it's I humiliating. Look, I look at it this way. It's not no obligation to, you know, to take care of me. Right. I put myself in this position so I swallow the pill. You know? Right. It's kind of degrading, it's, you know, sometimes I get depressed, but I pray and, you know, You got to survive. God help me out and, you know. And, and a lot of people, 
they end up doing crimes again and going back in because yeah. they you yeah. know need they need food or but I don't I'm, I'm, be honest I've been on the edge but I have right but, I can say that but. yeah that's it. again this you but know sometimes uh, man oh I have, yeah well, yeah yeah sometimes I have to eat out the garbage can right and and, and man, you know that's to, the worst to prevent in the world. To prevent and solve homelessness, we have to have a better criminal justice system that when yep. people are back in society, that they're not out on the streets. You know, it's so many people out here on the street. and so many people that get out of prison. And there's so many people that have mental issues that's out here. They don't have the funds or resources or they don't care right. to try to help everybody. Right. You know, they help, but they don't help. Yeah. They help by putting you on a waiting list. I've been on a waiting list for an apartment for two, two years or so. Right. You know? Way too long. Yeah. yeah. Way too long. But, what, what? I, excuse me cutting y'all, I say again, you know, I utilize the farm that I get, the right. jobs I get, and I bought me a tent. Yeah. So I'm not completely out here on the concrete like some of these guys. It, yeah, but it's still homeless, yeah, right? Still you don't home, have a place yeah. to go to the bathroom. You uh, don't have a place to shower, and you can't lock your tent. No, uh, uh I've had that's the, these two bags I got. Yeah, that's all I own. I have to take them everywhere I go. Yeah. So if I leave them in the tent, they go get it. Yeah. If you had three wishes, what would they be? I never would have sold drugs and went to prison. That I had me a apartment or a house or somewhere to live and I could get a job. Great wishes. I could get a job. Thank you I, very much for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you for asking. And thank you for caring.